Well, welcome to South Louisiana, where you can literally have a tropical storm pass over you one day and the next day be in the 50s. A little shot of the chickens there. A little too wet to do anything really in the yard, any gardening projects, anything like that today. It's kind of marshy out there. So I have a little project I want to do underneath the carport. Let me show you what I got. Okay guys, we're underneath the new carport, so if it rains, I'll be out of the weather and I'm out of the wind a little bit which is good because like I said today is in the 50s but what I want to work on today is this discolored headlight covers I got originally I wanted to do a DIY project I looked into the re uh, a lot of the things that were done online as far as people putting all base products on it to fill in the gaps or use toothpaste and polishing the toothpaste in and both those options Excuse the vehicle. Both those options worked somewhat, but did not last. Once the vehicle got wet or was washed, the fading and discoloration came back. Because it boils down to these cracks that are formed in your plastic headlight cover from UV damage. And both those methods, this temporary filled them. So, I didn't even got in here with a drill and try to polish and use you know and with toothpaste to be honest you're not going to get the abrasion effect you need to remove a lot of these surface cracks you can see i'm not sure how well it shows up on the camera but the cracks are a little bit less here than they're here on the side because i did it there and it was clear for a while until the headlight got wet and the remaining toothpaste that was filling the gaps covering the cracks washed away and the discoloration came back so what I got another vehicle one second I went ahead and bought a product that's supposed to cure the problem now I'm not endorsing this product this is the first time I'm going to try it myself if it works you know if it doesn't you know but that's what I'm doing today so let me go ahead and get the camera set up open that up and read the instructions and I'll get back to you. Okay. Spared you a lot of the prep work and when it's starting to blow, so I'm, I'm sorry for any mic noise I'm getting from that. But basically I just I cleaned the glass real good with soap and water and on both sides. And I prepped it with masking tape to protect it from the drill. And as far as the kit, it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, got three forms of wet sandpaper, 800 grit, 1500 grit, and a 2000 grit, and then the polishing. Basically, I'm going to attach it to my drill with this little Velcro applicator and keep it wet while polishing. But I'm gonna get the camera set up, get started, and probably put a lot of this on fast track because. You don't need to sit here and watch this in real time, do you? Stand by. Okay, already that's looking a little clearer. You can still see, I'm not sure how good, the, again, how good the camera was showing this, but you can still see some of the cracks, the deeper ones, but the lens itself is looking a lot clearer. I'm not sure if that's because the sandpaper basically did a deep cleaning of the cracks or smoothed them out. It does feel a lot smoother than this one on the surface. So I'm going to continue on with the other polishing wheels because I've done wore the sandpaper out on that one and the kid only had one of each and I'm saving the other 800 grit for the other side. So 
We'll start with the 1500 grit and repeat and go on from there. Okay guys, I want to apologize about halfway through sanding with the 1500 grit sandpaper. I realized my battery went dead and I didn't have that footage. But anyway, I wanted to show you where I'm at a little bit. Uh, it's a lot smoother to the touch. There are still some cracks visible, but I actually believe some of those might be on the other side of the plastic. And I do realize the smoother this stuff is, the less room there's going to be for dirt and grime to get in. And the light, the light cover will be clearer. So I'm going to continue to smooth it down, sand it with the 1500 and then the 2000 grit. And I did make a little mistake. You can see it here, a little, a little smudge there. And on the other side, where I only did the 800 grit so far, I kind of got a smudge here too. And what that's from is from running out of water, not keeping the surface wet enough while I'm wet sanding it. And the surface of that plastic seems to have scorched a little bit from friction. I'm hoping it will come out with the rest of the sanding. If not, it is what it is. This side, the driver's side, you can see it's not as smoothed over or still uh, shows more cracks than the uh, passionate side because I only did 800 grit on this side so far. So anyway, my, I'm going to let my main camera charge and I'm going to continue sanding and I'll get back with you. Well, that's the end of the... What was it? 1500 grit sanding and so far you can see that's dry it's a lot better in visibility than it was before wet is a little bit better because of course the water is covering the remaining cracks are still there but now I'm going to switch to the 2000 grit and on this kit it's only one pad so I'm gonna do this one and the other other light and then move on to the next step will be polishing now the whole way I've been rinsing keeping it wet and also every so often when I wet it down I'll wipe off the excess grit and dust is creating when it's sanding it off and you can see it's taking a lot off of that cover but it's still I can see swirl marks so it still needs more polishing so I'll keep at it so this changed out the sandpaper with the velcro I also swapped out my a little spray bottle for something more efficient. Anyway, off the polishing. Well, that seemed to work pretty well, pretty fast. Got all the little swirl marks off from the 1500 out real, real good. So, I'm going to clean this real good with Windex because I don't want any of that grit in there for the next step. But first, I'm going to do the other side. So, I'm going to clean uh, do the other side with the 2000 grit. Clean both sides of Windex and then I'll move on to polishing. Alright, got the 2000 grit sanded done pretty well. And now it's time for the polishing. I went ahead and I cleaned both lenses with Windex. Make sure that all the grits are off real good. The instructions didn't say Windex, it said soap and water, but to me, Windex would get it cleaner. And I had it, so I used it. Now, Instructions are saying not to add any water during the uh, the polishing part. Just to use the polishing compound as it dries. You know, keep it wet with the polishing compound. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have enough though, because this is one design flaw I found in this packaging. Once I opened the package, 
the container has been leaking. Yes, I had it up on, an, on the top of the truck and it's been leaking so I might have lost a good, a good amount of this so it's only an ounce so we'll see how far it goes. And it's very liquidy so hopefully they gave it more than enough. about it I can polish it a little bit more in the bottom I probably will but I want to like I said I got a little bit of that fluid left that's that leak so I want to do the other side and uh, give you my final opinions on it stand by off a little bit more Windex and microfiber towel let's get any more last particulates off clean spot might have to wash the truck opinion on it it does a pretty good job the lens is dry right now and I just cleaned it so that means there's nothing in, uh, buried in any cracks that disguised them from me I mean I could still see the cracks in it surface cracks but like I said I'm not sure if those cracks that I'm seeing are on this side of the plastic or the other side but visually the lens cover is a lot clearer than it was when it started is it factory new no the whole truck's not factory new but this will get me by for the next few years well anyway hope you enjoyed it you know uh thanks for watching till next time